The uh, governor of Vera Cruz was just in here. He says you're going to start shooting there next week. Are you directing or acting? Uh, I'm acting and, and producing. And uh, um, me and, and I call them the two Mexican dudes, Dos, Dos Equis, we, we, uh, we wrote the script, the three of us. So we're going down there to work in his, in his state in Veracruz. He was very hospitable to us last time we were there. When we did Apocalypto, he sort of opened his arms and welcomed us and made things very easy. And uh, it was a good experience. So I'm going back to Veracruz to, to uh, film in, in the prison that's there. That's no longer really fit for human uh, use, but it's but it's a great backdrop. It's a, it's a full of character. The prison. What's the film about? Well, it's a story, it's about a gringo in a Mexican prison. It's a kind of fish out of water story. It's called How I Spent My Summer Vacation, and uh, as the title suggests, it's vaguely humorous, but in a dark kind of way. Yeah. Um, and we're here, obviously, honoring the Oscar nominees. Uh, you have a couple Oscars. Where yeah. Do you, where do you keep them? Oh, they're at home, you know. I, I there's a special room where they reside, and you know sometimes I, you know, turn the lights out, put a little soft music on, candles, you know, and uh, I just leave those two guys to their devices, and then you know I come back, and then there's more. So I, I think <laughs> I'm I'm breeding them. I breed Oscars. So. <laughs> uh, do you have any advice to the nominees if they do win, what to do with their speeches? Um, just wing it, you know. I mean, boy. I mean, I had a speech ready to go. It was so long, and you know, but, but when it comes right down to it, they're sort of playing the music like "Get off, get off!" Or you know, we gotta, we gotta keep the broadcast. And they gotta squeeze the accordion on the broadcast. So there's pressure to sort of say what you need to say, thank who you need to thank, be gracious, and and at the same time, you're kind of gobsmacked that you're standing there with an Oscar in your hand. So it's a, it's a little overwhelming, especially after the build up to it. It's kind of tense, you know. It's a, it's a horse race. It's it's the probably the most intricate marketing campaign ever devised. So um, it's, uh, it's 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 quite something. And you know, the byproduct of it is that they recognize excellence. Is there anyone would you be willing to say that you're kind of rooting for this year? Or, or? I really like the Hurt Locker. I think I think Catherine Bigelow did a really good job on that film. And. Um, I, I like that film. I've watched it twice, which is really weird. I don't watch anything twice. So if I watch something twice, that's good. What was the last movie you actually saw in a theater? Good. And Edge of Darkness doesn't count. No, oh, gosh. <laughs> I wasn't there for that one. I, um, um, well, I, you know, I, 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 I was whining. I wasn't able, I kept buying tickets to go and see Avatar, and every time I get there, I couldn't get two seats together, and it was like, ugh, I have to leave, or I get there late. I missed like three, and I booked tickets, and. So they got their money's worth out of me. So um, the producer uh, actually said, got me a little private screening with the glasses and everything. So that was the last thing I went to see. Hollywood.